We continue this conversation, talk more about Goldman Sachs' results and the quarter overall for financials. Gerard Cassidy, large cap bank analyst and head of U.S. Bank Equity Strategy at RBC Capital Markets, joins us. Good morning to you. Gerard, we've been making our way through these numbers. Uh, this, this report this morning, well, I, I could describe as mixed. You may have a different view. I'm curious. But put it all in context to all of the different bank reports that we've seen now over the past week and a half. I, I think your observations are correct. It is certainly mixed. There's um, some good good news in there uh, on the trading front against expectations. We all know that the revenues for the industry, not just Goldman Sachs, in FIC trading, fixed income trading, as well as equity trading, has been affected by market conditions, and that showed up here for Goldman Sachs as well. Uh, on the investment banking front, uh, here too, uh, the numbers for the industry and the markets or the markets in general were weaker than what we saw, of course, last year. But against expectations, the equity capital markets for Goldman were quite strong, similar to his peers. So I think you're right. Uh, mix is a good way of describing it. Of course, Goldman had a number of one-time items, which make the numbers a little more confusing than their peers. But it's the green shoots that you folks have right. just talked about that I think is the real story. So uh, Unconfuse Me, which, by the way, is the name of a new podcast, Beck, I don't know if you saw, that Bill Gates is doing. It's called yeah. Unconfuse Me. It's a great little line. So Unconfuse Me, Goldman Sachs are $336 a share. Fair price? Too low? Too high? What do you do? If you have a positive view that these green shoots are for real, that, you know, based upon what Morgan Stanley said yesterday and probably what we'll hear today on the Goldman call, if we really see the Fed reaching the terminal rate for Fed funds by September and we have a soft landing, the, inv the investment banking business is very likely to improve over the next 12 months, which means Goldman is a pure play and therefore is very attractive at these prices if you believe that's what's going to happen. Do you believe that's what's going to happen? Yeah, it's a very good question. We're on the fence right now. We're really looking to what the Fed is going to say in July, but also out in um, Jackson Hole. That will give us the confidence to say that we are at a uh, terminal rate. And should we really be right. at that terminal rate for Fed funds, then it's going to be quite positive. As value goes, which of the banks do you think has, has the most room to run right now in terms of opportunity? I would say you have a couple. One, Bank America, from a value standpoint, is trading uh, still at a big discount to its peer, J.P. Morgan, deservedly so in some parts. I would say Goldman's also a value here for a large investment bank, again, playing for an expected recovery. And then on the regional bank front, you can certainly look at a U.S. bank or, or a fifth third as value as well. When you think about the regionals and when you think about what was the conversation just two or three months ago around uh, real estate, the impact that was going to have on some of the smaller community banks and regional banks. Is that over now? Uh, are we, are we, we talked about this with Mohamed Alarian earlier, but have we forgotten about that? Are we putting blinders on what's happened here? Yeah, no, no it's a good question. I, I would say the conversation has shifted meaningfully from what we saw in the spring, of course, with the bank failures and the deposit flight to more now focus on credit quality and commercial real estate. And that was a clear pattern with all the big banks and regionals is, as you know, the office market is certainly the weak spot when it comes to uh, credit and commercial real estate. And that's not likely to change anytime soon. However, other parts of the credit portfolios for these banks are re remarkably very strong. So within the commercial real estate area, it's office and is mostly urban in our big cities. That's the challenge.